Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into this channel. It is hoped that you will grasp a better understanding of soil types throughout this presentation. Today we focus our attention on soil types and distribution. The last couple of classes we looked at what are soils and soil horizons. We discovered that, soils can be best described as a mixture of minerals, water, air, organic matter, and other organisms which may exist. These organisms are decayed plant litter and dead remains of animals and insects. The accumulation of these matter help to form the humus layer of a soil structure. The humus layer of a soil structure is the layer with the most nutrients. Nutrients in humus layer allows plants to obtain the necessary nutrients they need to grow and produce fruits. Nutrients from the humus layer is usually leached throughout the soil horizons. Each soil horizon has a varied characteristic. Each soil profile is parallel with land surface, whose properties develop from the combined actions of living organisms and percolating water. Because these actions can vary in their effects with increasing depth, it is often the case that more than one horizon exists beneath the surface of any soil area, at depths ranging from only a few centimeters to several meters. One or more horizons make up what is known as the soil profile, the vertical sequence of distinct layers that is unique to each soil type. Each soil type has a unique soil horizon. Renzina Soil Characteristics Shallow soils with solid or fragmented calcareous rock at depth. Soils of limited extent in Scotland, confined to areas of limestone rock. Soils have a mineral surface horizon with prominent crumb structure due to intense faunal activity. Soils are generally free-draining and often stony. Soils in certain topographic positions have a brightly colored subsoil or mixed of horizon. Soils have a distinctive vegetation cover, with herb-rich grassland being common. In addition, Renzina soils belong to the leptosyl soil group. The soils belonging to the soil group are intrazonal and occur mainly in mountainous, semi-mountainous, and hilly sloping terrains, where environmental conditions favor physical weathering and intense erosion, as well as specific soil-forming rocks. The soils are characterized by a thin, dark, or light humus horizon located on a solid rock or on loose weathering materials. Their distribution is related to the presence of limestone. Renzinas are found among chernozems and gray forest soils. The main soil forming processes that have resulted in the formation of renzinas are the formation and accumulation of humus in a chernozem type of soil formation. The parent material is the main soil forming factor in the formation of renzinas. Their formation and distribution are mainly related to the chemical and mineral composition of the carbonate parent rock, as well as to its physical, chemical and mineral properties. The soil texture, structure, and soil reaction depend largely on the parent material. Renzina soils are interzonal soils which derive from limestones as parent material. It is also important to note that the soils profiles of the studied Renzinas is characterized by a total thickness of 40 cm. The humus accumulative horizon A contains a carbonate is dark to black and is enclosed by a hard carbonate rock or weathered materials. The thickness of this horizon is relatively big, and equals the total thickness of the soil. Limestone and marlstone rocks are seen throughout the entire profile. The structure is crumb and granular. Based on their rocks, hard and soft, at subtype. Renzina soils are widely distributed throughout the Caribbean. This soil type is considered loamy to clay loamy. It may also become silty loamy, with very thick a humus layer this is why the soil type is mostly considered by farmers throughout the Caribbean. Chernozem Soil Characteristics Chernozem is a type of fertile black soil containing a very high percentage of humus. The humus percentage ranges from the 4% to 16% of its total content. It also contains high quantities of ammonia and phosphoric acids. It is considered to be the most fertile black on the earth due to its high mineral content. Chernozems, from the Russian words for black earth, are humus-rich grassland soils used extensively for growing cereals or for raising livestock. They are found in the middle latitudes of both hemispheres, in zones commonly termed prairie in North America, pampa in Argentina, and steppe in Asia or in Eastern Europe. 
Summary Description of Chernozems Connotation, Black Soils Rich in Organic Matter, from our churn, Black, and Zemelja, Earth or Land. Parent Material, Mostly Eolian and Rewashed Eolian Sediments, Lois. Environment, Regions with a Continental Climate with Cold Winters and Hot Summers, in flat to undulating plains with tall grass vegetation, forest in the northern transitional zone. Profile development, ABC profiles with a dark brown to black mollic surface horizon over a cambic or argic subsurface horizon, commonly with redistribution of calcium carbonate to a calcic horizon or pockets of secondary carbonates in the subsurface soil. Use the high natural fertility of Chernozems and their favorable topography permit a wide range of agricultural uses including arable cropping, with supplemental irrigation in dry summers, and cattle ranging. Regional Distribution of Chernozems Chernozems cover an estimated 230 million hectares worldwide, mainly in the middle latitude steppes of Eurasia and North America, north of a zone with Castanozems. Latozol Soil Characteristics of Lato Soles, presence of a thin humus layer due to intense bacterial activity. Upper layer slash A horizon contains much aluminium and iron oxides. Reddish in color due to the concentration of iron aluminium oxides after intense leaching. All soils form as a result of the action of several factors. These factors combine to influence the many processes at work in soil formation e.g. Leaching and weathering. These give soil its own characteristics. Soil is composed of number of ingredients and constituents. The components of soil are mixed in different quantities to create different soil types. They are made up of mineral matter, air, water, humus, living organisms. However, climate is the single most important factor in determining what a soil will be like as climate influences vegetation, the rate of weathering and soil, forming processing in an area. The majority of soil is composed of mineral matter. Mineral matter are rock particles from the bedrock and weathered rock. The soil type varies depending on mineral matter. Unconsolidated material e.g. boulder clay will help form soil more rapidly than solid bedrock as it is partly weathered. Soil is also composed of organic matter. Organic matter includes decaying plants and animals which bacteria and fungi break down. Humus is a dark brown jelly-like substance formed from organic matter. Living organisms are also included in organic matter, earthworms, beetles, fungi, bacteria, they digest organic matter to humus and also mix and create soil. Water is another important component of soil. The amount of water is determined by the climate of the area in question. Water affects the rate and type of weathering and rate of decay of organic matter and rate of leaching. If there is too little water drought brings evaporation and upward movement of water causing salinization and calcification. If there is too much water water logging inhibits humification. Latozol is a tropical zonal soil developed in response to tropical and equatorial climate. These climates have up to 6,000 mm of rainfall per annum which causes leaching and rapid humification. Lotto soles are rich in aluminium and copper and organic matter. Two characteristics, all soils can be described according to their characteristics. Characteristics may vary. General characteristics of soil sample answer organic content. Organic matter of soil is important due to its ability to support plant growth. Organic matter is very fertile because it is rich in nutrients. Lotto soils have a low humus content. This is due to the rapid breakdown of organic matter by the many bacteria which thrive in the hot and wet conditions and rapid uptake of humus by plants. Water is important for a soil for the following reasons, it enables plants to absorb nutrients dissolved from the mineral grains and it reduces soil erosion by wind because water holds soil particles together. Lotto soils are wet due to high rainfall in the tropical region, are very permeable. However, should the forest cover be removed soil dries out rapidly and becomes impermeable to water and useless for farming. Color The color of a soil depends on factors such as the rock it developed upon, 
parent material and the processes that have occurred such as leaching. Lotto soles are red or yellow in color. Leaching is so intense that only aluminium and iron compounds are left. These compounds give the soil its red or yellow color. The pore space between the pets hold air and water and are important for plants to access air and water in the soil. The shape of pets indicated the structure of soil. Latozol is often poorly developed due to intense chemical weathering of mineral grains which prevents well-shaped pets forming. Texture describes how a soil feels to the touch. The texture of a soil is controlled by the amount of sand, silt, and clay particles in it. Three factors and influences, various factors influence the processes affecting soil and soil characteristics. Climate, relief, parent material, living things, and time are important controlling the formation of soils. They do this by influencing the processes affecting soil and soil characteristics. Climate is the most important factor in soil formation. Temperature and precipitation are the biggest effectors. Temperature is important in bacteria activity. For example, in hot weather, bacteria thrive and cause rapid decomposition. Lotto soles are up to 40 m deep in parts of Brazil because the climate has very high temperature. This high temperature and the permeability of the soil causes heat and moisture to reach deep and cause deepest soil. Relief can influence the depth and drainage of soil. In general sloping land is well drained and soils are quite dry. However mass movement, soil creep, can occur, meaning soil is spread thin. Flat upland is cold and wet meaning microorganisms are slow to work. An accumulation of dead debris occurs and peat is an example of this. Resulting in upland soils being infertile. Lotto soles in Brazil are formed under the rainforest on flat land and on slopes which allows tree growth. They are thicker on flat land and thinner and better drained where land is sloping. Parent material affects soil characteristics. The type of rock that a soil develops from can influence its pH, color, water content, and texture. General characteristics of soil sample answer for example limestone produces calcium-rich, dark-colored soil. In general igneous and metamorphic rock tend to develop acidic soils. The parent material of a soil is not always rock. Soil can develop from sands and gravel too. A variety of parent materials are found under lotto soles in Brazil. These different parent materials cause lotto soles to vary in color from red to yellow. Laterization is the dominant process in forming lotto soles. Laterization is a combination of deep leaching and chemical weathering. These combine to dissolve all mineral except iron and aluminium. If soil erosion removes the loose topsoil, iron and aluminium is exposed. High temperatures soon bake the soil into a hard brick-like surface which is impossible to cultivate. What are intrazonal and zonal soils? Interzonal soils, a soil affected more by local factors than by climate, unlike a zonal soil. For example, water logging creates clay soils, and a limestone bedrock will produce a renzina. Zonal soil, the formation of zonal soils is classified primarily by climate, whereas intrazonal and azonal soils are classified by local factors such as parent material, 4, 5. Black, molasol, chow, inceptizol, and red, ultisol, soils are three main zonal soil types in East and Southeast Asia. Intrazonal soils have more or less well-defined soil profile characteristics that reflect the dominant influence of some resident factor of relief or parent material over the classic zonal effects of climate and vegetation. Podzol soil is not a soil type outlined within the Caribbean Examination Council syllabus, however the soil type is still worth mentioning. Podzol soils are strongly acid soils that usually have a bleached horizon immediately beneath the topsoil. This horizon is the source of aluminium and iron oxides that have accumulated, in association with organic matter, in an underlying dark or reddish colored horizon. Usually found in region with seasonal variation e.g. Extreme cold climates and changes in temperature periodically, example Serbia and sections of Australia and China. World Soil Distribution There are three main types of soil clay, sandy, and loamy. 
There are also other types of soil, depending on the type of underlying rock and the climate and vegetation. Loams are a mixture of clay, sand, and silt, and are more fertile than other soils. World Soil Distribution Because climate plays an important role in soil formation, soils differ widely from one major climatic zone to another. Tropical climates with their high temperature and rainfall yield deep, strongly weathered, and leached soils with low nutrient contents. Soils around the world vary in color, texture, structure, and chemical, physical, and biological composition. To the uninformed, soils may appear to be quite uniform, especially at the local level, but in reality they can be very different just a few feet away. Soils are a function of the five soil forming factors climate, organisms, relief, parent material, and time. Each of these factors range on a continuum, so the different soils of the world number in the thousands. Soil scientists recognize 12 major orders of soils. A soil order classification is similar to the system biologists use to classify animals or plants into groups that have common properties. These orders are further refined into suborder, great groups, subgroups, families, and series. Thus, a name such as fine loamy, mixed, mesic typic haplacquals tells a soil scientist a great deal about the specific soil. Each now that we have looked at soils, try identify the four mentioned soil types above throughout the world. Sketch a map of the world, identify the main soil types found in each area.